Alright guys, so this is the tool that you're going to use, filler gauges and the bulb adjusting tool. Here is the spec for the clearance guys, intake I use 0.008 inch, exhaust I use 0.012 for the exhaust side. Alright guys, so I'm just putting the 6 cylinder in the top dead center with that 6 line up to that index and there it is that should be lined up all right guys all right so that is the filler gauge for the intake that's 0 0.008 inch There you go guys, that looks uh, looks like a good good clearance there. Somehow this one is a bit loose so I'm gonna readjust it and make it a little bit tighter with the adjusting tool. So first of all you're gonna have to loosen that nut and turn that turning, turning screw uh, loosen or tightening. Alright guys, so loosen that nut, retaining nut. There you go, so that's loose and now you can you can turn the the screw to loosen or tighten the valve turns and then retighten the nut. There you go guys. You may have to do it again once or twice if you make a mistake try it again so try to feel it just a slight drag so if you feel like it's too much or too loose redo it again and readjust the clearance guys there you go guys and this is by the way the intake side So feels like it's a uh, good clearance for me so I'm just gonna go with that. Go in different angles so that way you know for sure it's a good clearance. There you go. There you go guys. It's, uh, it's a, just a good slight drag on the filler gauge. Not too much not too tight all right guys so uh, we're gonna adjust the exhaust side which I will be using the 0.012 filler gauge okay guys uh, I forgot to mention in the beginning of the video that if you are in in six cylinder for instance you're gonna have to adjust both the intake and the exhaust for each cylinder okay guys all right guys here I have a filler gauge for the exhaust side it's a 0 0.12 inch so obviously the exhaust side clearance are gonna be too tight because this car have a DTC code calling uh, system bank one two rich. All right, guys. So we're gonna readjust that and adjust the clearance a bit loose because it's too tight. I probably can't even put my filler gauge in there, guys. So yeah. Now it's in. All right. Just a matter of adjusting the the clearance and make sure the retaining nut is tight just a slight drag guys just a slight drag alright that looks and sound good
go guys I'm pretty happy with the uh, clearance there and it feels like it's perfect so I'm gonna go with that with that clearance and moving on with the other bulb all right guys here we go with the other bulb clearance just be the same step as the other one prior to this all right guys
all right guys so i'm just finalizing the uh clearance there i'm happy with that clearance so i'm done with the job here all six cylinders are adjusted so uh yeah let's put it back together so here i am changing the gasket for the valve cover guys there you go brand new gasket all right so let's put it back together guys i'm gonna speed up the video all right guys so uh by the way to uh torque the valve cover bolts are gonna be 12 newton for all of them all right that's a uh, hundred six uh, inch pounds. All right. All right, guys, so this is almost back together. I'm putting all the hoses and the connector now and the grounds. Make sure you connect them all. I also replaced the uh, bridge valve solenoid there, so I got a brand new one. Alright, so this is all done guys, uh, thanks for watching, like and subscribe.